Hi, I'm Dave, fell running guide. Um, sat under my tarp, just enjoying the Peak District scenery. Now, some people asked how I set this up when I'm out uh, fast packing or just using it as a, a shelter for a, a brew halfway through a run or a hike. So I'll show you how it's set up. Okay, so the first thing to do before you start with the tarp is to get the pole out so that's ready. Um, get the, pence re te the pegs ready. Um, and I want to put this up with my back to the wind. Now what I've done is I've identified a corner. So this is going to be the back left corner as I'm in the top. And I've put a bit of coloured tape on that. So I know when I get my top out that this um, is the back left. So if it's really windy, what I could do is actually peg this out before I get the rest of the top out. So it saves it blowing away. It's not that windy today. I don't really need to do that, but I'll do it anyway. So that's the first corner that gets pegged in. And then the next thing I need to do is go and peg that corner, the, the back right as I'm in it. So like I said, if you were doing this in the wind, you could just feed bits out. I don't need to do that because it's not particularly windy, but it's always useful to remember where you put that. Okay, so this one next. We'll come to this front one and just peg this out loosely. I'm going to uh, adjust them again in a moment. And then the next one we do is the one in on the front. And this is where we use the tent pole. I'll show you this in more detail in a moment. But for this, I've already got my guy line attached. So, simply peg that one out. And then, front left as I'm in it. And there we go. A quick look around it. Now what you'll notice is I've got some lines already attached to the back. Um, and if you've got the wind blowing onto this, it bows it in. So there's not as much room inside. So what you can do is use these lines to peg out and I'll show you how I do that with an additional pole. Um, but this is the, um, you know, the, the setup that I would use if I'm not sleeping under it and just using it as a, a shelter for my brew. And that's that. So I'll show you the pole. It's just three short bits of tent, tent pole that I had spare. On that end, there's um, just like a, a mushroom to stop that sinking into the ground. And on the other end, I've just put um, a little plastic plug on it. Now that is just so that the guy line doesn't slip down the pole when I put it on. Um, I'll show you that now. So here you see I've got my guy line already attached. I've left a little loop there and that's just the right size for that to go on there but not slip down any further. So then I just put the pole up using that. So this is the finished setup using an extra pole as a lifter at the back. I'll show you that. So in order of pegging it out, I do this corner and then the opposite corner.
that one, this one. On here, I've got a line, one peg into both of those, so um, two tabs both being tensioned at the same time. And then here, I've got one long line up to my outkit pole. Just tied through a uh, carabiner and then down to there. Uh, look inside. Just enough space for a, a shorty like me to sit under it in shelter.